Hey folks, this is uh, the VK ROM on the Galaxy S2, as you can see. Um, it's the newest version of the VK ROM, by the way, and um, I'm not actually too keen on it, to be honest. It freezes a lot, it, you know, it's, um, it's kind of disappointing, really. I thought it was going to be a good ROM, and it because of all what people were saying and stuff for it. Now it has got the jelly bean um, things on it, you know, except for um, the currents and that. But it's got a, no, a good lock screen. You can have t t two different types of launchers on here. As you can see at the top, it's touch with home. Oh no, you can't because it's blurred out. Great. Um, let me just sort this out. Oh, and I've got some email. We'll go to TouchWiz, which was the bottom of one. Um, settings. Just see if we can get some better. Better. Um, so you can see it. You see that better? Yeah, I can see better. Yeah, so. Um, yeah, um, it freezes a lot, like when you're using the camera, and it, see, it's frozen now, the, the screen will move like that, but none of the buttons are working. See, no, now it did, now we need collaboration. Thank you, come on, see, it's not that good of a ROM, it freezes a lot, so I wouldn't actually recommend you get this, you know, it's a bit, a bit rubbish really. Now Netflix does work, <clears throat> so you can actually go and watch things, you know, that you were watching, um, the rotation works as well, pretty good. Um, I do like the top icons, you know, the where you can just touch at the top, it'll lock. See? Um, <clears throat> and I like the battery percentage the way it is, like, um, like, as if you were checking your signal strength, you know. And, uh, um, it's also got in numbers as well, what the percentage is. So I do like that. Um, the, you know, and I like how transparent it is and stuff. It's just that uh, with it freezing and it lags a lot, it just doesn't do much for me. I think it's more of, um, needs more development really. And this is supposed to be a very stable version of Ice Cream Sandwich ROM, you know. It's actually, let me see if we can go to it. Yes, I want it. See, see how it lagged. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, go into settings and go to about device. Now, usually you have where you can um, do like a software update. Not on this, you don't. And it is actually running. As you can see, 4.0.3 gingerbread, um, and it is based on XXLPS ba baseband with VK theme, um, and it's XWLPG version 5.1.3 of the VK theme ROM. So really, it's just a theme over um, ICS instead of a proper ROM maybe you know but as you can see it does lag and it doesn't like to um, <laughs> you know function properly but you know some things like moving from widgets and stuff is very 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 smooth um, now the internet and that does work obviously because Netflix was working you can see that um, This is where I actually downloaded it from, I think. 
no, this was something else. Um, that was Wi-Fi Kill. Wi-Fi Kill doesn't like working on it either. That freezes a lot. So, my recommendation to people is really not to get this wrong. Now, we are using my Wi-Fi. And as you can see, that it is struggling a little. Now, don't ask me why, because it usually loads up pretty See, it touched it, loads up pretty well. Wi-Fi kill. But, yeah, um... It just doesn't like anything, does it? Uh, <laughs> So, sorry about that, folks. Um, but yeah, it is s smooth in going from transitions and from one thing to another. And you do get um, some really good apps, you know. Um, and you still got your Polaris Office, you still get your navigation, you still get your voice record and your voice command, voice talk. Um, photo editor, your downloads, um, and everything does work. And you also get Home Smack, which I think is pretty good because it gives you the choice to change your default programs and your default launchers and stuff. This is what I was on about when you first come on. So, yeah, um, just something to bear in mind if you are going to download this ROM, then you know it's just not actually worth it. Games seem to struggle a bit as well. Um, so, yeah, this is just a quick review of the VK ROM. And, folks, it's not worth it. I'm out here. I'll see you on the next video. Take it easy, folks.